This question is a binomial and normal approximation uh, question. Uh, part A, two should be quite easy marks. Um, state the distribution of x. Well, we've got a thousand trials and it's a dice, so you're either going to get a six or you're not going to get a six in each throw, and each uh, trial is independent of every other one, so it's just binomial. Um, some people might write x squiggle b n p for that with the particular values of n. I think you get the mark for that as well. But state the distribution. It just wants uh, either binomial or normal. So just binomial in this case. Um, explain why a normal distribution would be appropriate to approximate it. N is large. In the old days, in the old syllabus, you used to have to write um, the N P was le was greater than five, and, and another condition as well. You don't need that anymore. It's one marker, and you just write N is large. That's when we can use the normal approximation. Okay, part B is where we get a bit more interesting. Five marks available here. Use a normal distribution. Well, let's kick off by working out what that normal distribution would be. There's our binomial distribution, and that gives us a normal distribution using NP and NPQ. Don't forget the Q is 5 sixths in this case, because it's 1 minus P. So NP comes out to be 500 over 3, and NPQ comes out to be 1,250 over 9. I've used fractions to keep the exact values there. Right. We're trying to find two values between which there's probability 0.4. So if we draw a normal bell curve, the easiest way to make this work is to make them symmetrical around the mean. In other words, there's our mean, and I want two values that are symmetrical about the mean, between which the probability is 0.4. Um, now, to be able to work with that idea, it's easiest then to spot that everything to the left of the mean line, this line, everything to the left of that under the curve will be half. So that red shaded area there is half, probability half. If we add on this little slither of blue here, that remember is not, that'd be 0 0.2, won't it? So half plus that 0 0.2 there means that the red shaded area there is in total 0 0.7. So if we now identify, we'll call those values A and B there, we can now write down that we want the probability that X is less than B or less than or equal to, remember it doesn't matter for normal distribution, um, to be 0 0.7. Okay, you can now use your inverse normal function on your calculator to find B at the touch of a button. And B rounds to 173. I've rounded it because it does say it wants two positive integer values. Um, so I've rounded that to 173. And if you look at the difference between 173 and the mean, and then go that far below the mean, you get the rounded value 160 for A. Now before you go any further, it would be a good idea just to check. So go back to your normal CD function on your calculator. Type in um, mean 500 over 3. Standard deviation will be the square root of this fraction here. Don't forget to square root it because this is the variance. And if you put your lower limit as 160, your upper limit is 173, you get a value that's quite close to 0 0.4. You should check that. Now part C wants us to use those two values from the previous part. So it wants us to use a normal distribution, sorry, a binomial distribution to calculate this probability here. Well, to work out that probability using binomial, you need to set it up as less than or equal twos. So we want everything up to 173, but not including 173. So we need up to 172. So everything less than or equal to 172. But we don't want everything less than or equal to 172. We don't want anything 160 or below. And that'll just leave us everything in between. 
So take away everything up to 160, and that'll just give us everything between those two values. Um, binomial CD function calculator will give you those straight away and then just subtract to get your final answer.